Hello and welcome. We've got a bit of a, I guess, older release here that I totally missed. I did not, I don't know if I wasn't checking that week or what happened, but we had the Forge World pre-orders, the Night Lords and Iron Hand upgrades. And my God, these are absolutely fantastic. I, I, I want these helmets, right? Like I, I'm in on these helmets. For the Night Lords, like the unhelmeted head with the scars, the, like, it's funny uh, a lot of conversions you see online where they take the beaky helmet and add wings, it looks terrible. It just doesn't look right. This is the first time I've ever seen it where I'm like, oh, no, that makes sense, actually, right? And the bone helmets, like, you can use these for uh, Space Wolves, really, especially in 40K, right? You could really use these helmets in 40K for some Space Wolves and some of the other chapters as well. Uh, but for me using them for night Lord helmets, I always, I put in a couple beakies, right? Because again, the scavengers are going to have beaky helmets, but I would just straight up use these. These are fantastic. And the shoulder pad, this is actually really well done. Uh, it's still kind of a larger version of the symbol, but I recognize it. It looks good. I, I'm in on the shoulder pads too. I'd probably get a pack of these as well. And then the iron hands heads, like, come on. That unhelmeted head is one of, I think, the coolest unhelmeted heads they've ever brought out in the history of, of 40K, okay? That's how good that head is. Uh, the leader having the crest is great, and the rest of them, again, they're just great one-off helmets. You could use them for bionics for a lot of different forces, right? Especially the middle one, just having the, like, plating on it. Love it. Uh, the iron hands for this one, uh, again, historically, the Mark VI shoulder pads would have no rim on it. But I guess with iron hands, they kind of put that edging on literally everything. So I kind of appreciate that. They're like, even though this isn't meant to have anything on it other than the symbol, the iron hands went a different way with it. So I actually like that. And the variation in the shoulder pad as well here is actually nice where it's just like having the rivets in different spots in the air vents. Again, they're great shoulder pads. The Night Lords one. It's always funny where they just have the line and they're like, look, I highlighted the whole thing. I, I, like the, these, it just, the long line looks terrible, I think. But anyways, uh, we, we, weird little thing for me with those. But uh, again, big fan of these helmets. I don't know how, I didn't even know these were up. All right. Like these are great helmets. Uh, let me know in the comments if when you saw these, you were as excited for them as I am. These are the first sets of helmets I think are usable across a lot of different chapters, legions, what have you. Uh, and that's always nice because for the most part, you see them and it's like, no. Like the Imperial Fist ones you could really use for Black Templars and 40K, but that was the really only application. Uh, but again, Unreal, Forgeville doing some really good work, I think. Uh, let me know if you grab these, if you're going to grab these. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm so excited. I'll see everybody in the next video.